I did a race when was I think it was April. Um, it was a as a team, it was a half Ironman event here in Melbourne, and it so it was a one point nine kilometer swim. Um, I think I swam about an extra ninety or so meters, and um, the I kind of had to go around people because we were the last pack, so there was probably uh, oh, there was a couple of hundred swimmers in in before me. So I, I kept a pretty good line, um, except for having to go around some people. And then I had a look just on on Strava of some of the different files of the people that I followed there. And there, were, there was people who were doing 2,100, 2,200 meters. And if you're swimming two minutes per 100, that's that's four, five, six minutes that you've added six on top minutes, of your swim. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. for no extra effort whatsoever, you could be swimming six minutes quicker just by being able to sight well and swim straight and, um, and follow the right line. And that's just one of the skills that you've got in open water. So there's, um, there's a lot of opportunity available there for, for swimmers where they can swim faster without um, just working on their their technique and that's what i love about open water swimming too i um i hated it when i was i think i was 15 or 16 when i first did it um i got beaten by a friend of mine who had always beaten the pool but he beat me in the open water because i uh, i just i didn't pace it right i went out too hard i didn't know how to sight draft anything like that and he beat me and uh, i think i did that swim one more time and then i didn't swim again open water until i was 19 or 20 I think it was and um and now it's just I, I really love it because of the strategy involved and um it's not just you in the lane swimming up and down there's so many different factors that are involved and it's a it's a lot of fun especially if you love a little bit of sort of crash and bash and um uh, and being able to um to sort of strategize in, in the races it's yeah I just I really enjoy it yeah I I, I agree with you I, my personal uh, feelings on it is slightly different. I'm, I'm, I don't particularly enjoy uh, open water. It's, it's part of the deal of triathlon. Uh, it's one of the, <laughs> the skill, one of the skills that I've had to learn to master and learn to get better at. Um, uh, it's, but it's not a controlled environment. And as an A-type personality, I much prefer the controlled environment. But, uh, but that, I mean, it's, it's something that you accept as part of the sport. Um, but I think, yeah, it, you have to. The confidence piece comes in again here. Like you said, if you enjoy the sort of crash and bash, uh, the washing machine effect, if your brain is preoccupied by survival, you cannot execute a race strategy, don't matter how good that strategy might be. You know, you, you may have the perfect takeout speed. You may have your ability to dial it into your, to your actual race pace after a good short uh, sort of burst. You may have the ability to take the gap. You may have all the skills and fitness that you need. Um, but if you're not confident in the open water and you're not confident in having people all around you, those, those skills, that strategy all goes out the window and your brain goes, just get me through this, just get me through this. Um, so yeah, I mean, a hundred percent with, with that. And I think sighting in particular, uh, as you pointed out, it, it may not sound like a, a lot of extra distance, to go, oh, and I went to extra 100 meters or an extra 200 meters. But like you say, if you're swimming at two minutes per hundred, that's that's a four minutes uh, that's a four minutes uh, difference. And I mean, if you if you're a good runner, that's that's like running 22 k's uh, at the end, which <laughs> no one's mm -hmm. going to want to do an extra k at the end at the end of their race. So it you know it, it does uh, it, it does make it does make a massive difference in that. But just learning to sight efficiently. And it's something that we work on. I work on with my guys in the pool uh, at nauseum is just learning how to sight uh, without having a major impact to body position, to body line, uh, without increasing effort, um, and seeing how quickly, you know, how close we can get doing hundreds. Um, if we're doing hundreds, uh, for example, let's do hundreds without sighting and then let's throw in the sighting stroke on the odd lengths. Uh, sighting four, five, six times, and you know what's the difference in our pace between the two? How much slower are we with the sighting strokes? Can we get them to a point where we're just as efficient uh, sighting as we are not sighting? Um, so that when we get out into the open water, if we need to sight every four strokes, every six strokes, it's not having a major impact on how fast we're swimming. Um, because I'd rather have you sight every four and swim 1,900 meters than sight every 12 or 13 uh, swim faster but have to go 21 or 2200 because you're not um, because you're not holding a good line.